Welcome to this video. If you are working with SAP queries, then you are familiar with the transaction code SQ01 because within there, based on one user group for one query area, you are working with different SAP queries based on one info set handled within a transaction code SQ02. And if you would like to work with other SAP queries, then you have to click to add a user group and then um, select your user group to work with the SAP queries listed or assigned to the user group. Here we are working with the standard area. So if you're working with the global area, then you have also to switch um, with an environment and then query areas to global area cross client then you click to choose and then basically you can work with other SAP queries but um, to fasten up this process I would like to show you how you can set up your default query area and your default user group so that you don't have to switch every time within the SQ01 to your query area and to your user group to work with your SAP queries because normally you are working with one uh, within one user group and if you would like to work with other SAP queries then you can of course switch to the other user group and therefore it's so easy you just have to go to the transaction SU3 to work with your user profile then you have to switch to parameters and then basically you can scroll down to the first um, empty uh, parameter row and then you can work with AQB and with AQW. Hit the enter key and then you can work with those two parameters to prefill your user group and to prefill your query area. If you would like to work with the standard query area then you have to leave it blank. If you would like to work with the global query area then you have to enter G. And within uh, the user group that you can just simply type in your user group, in my case, set underscore test, hit the enter key, click on save, and then that's perfectly all. What you now have to do is now you have to open up the SQ01. And then now you can see that your user group will be pre-filled, your query area will be pre-filled and you can work now with your SAP queries. So that's one trick within SAP query. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.